Cultured meat has the potential to revolutionize the world in a number of ways. The process will allow us to grow enough cruelty-free food for all, cheaper and in more sanitary conditions. The idea of cultured meat dates back to the 20th century. In 1931, Winston Churchill predicted the development of synthetic meats grown in labs. The term in vitro meat was coined by biologist tissue engineering pioneer Willem van Elen in 1997. He filed the first patent for cultured meat production in 1999. NASA played a role in early research on cultured meat in the 2000s. The agency funded experiments to develop lab-grown meat for potential use in space missions. In 2013, Dutch scientist Mark Post introduced the world's first lab-grown burger. It cost around $330,000 to produce and was cooked and taste-tested in London. Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google, funded Mark Post's lab-grown burger project. His $330,000 donation helped raise awareness and interest in cultured meat. Memphis Meats, founded in 2015, was one of the pioneering companies in the cultured meat industry. They showcased their first cultured meatball in 2016 and have since attracted significant investment. Various countries have made regulatory progress for cultured meat. In 2020, Singapore became the first country to approve the sale of cultured chicken. Cultured meat is often touted for its potential environmental benefits. It could significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and the need for land and water compared to traditional livestock farming. One of the biggest challenges in the cultured meat industry is reducing production costs. Companies are working on innovations to make lab-grown meat more affordable. In addition to beef and poultry, researchers and companies are working on cultured seafood. This could help address overfishing and the depletion of ocean resources. Cultured meat continues to be a rapidly evolving field with potential to transform the global food industry and address sustainability and ethical concerns associated with traditional meat production.